Hello there, Mad Mike here, and uh, welcome to Weaponize Nerd Rage's channel. Uh, he is out with the flu, uh, so he has asked me to step in and do a video for him, uh, as I did before. Uh, so hopefully he will be back in a few days, uh, but uh, until then, uh, he will have a few people filling in for him. Um, but today we are going to dive back into a topic that is unfortunately coming up again, which is Jesse Smollett. Uh, now, for those of you who have lived under a rock for the last four months, uh, Jesse Smollett committed a fake hate cr or faked a hate crime. Uh, he hired two uh, Nigerian men that he was associated with, who were personal trainers, uh, that then proceeded to quote unquote assault him and put a uh, noose around his neck in order to fake a hate crime, in order to get him more of the public eye, and uh, in order to also advance his career. Uh, <clears throat> in a related note, he also sent a fake letter to himself that is currently under investigation by the federal uh, authorities because he sent something through the mail, so that's a federal offense. Uh, and he is still on the hook for that. However, the hate crime, uh, all charges were dropped uh, by the county uh, by the uh, county uh, courts, and uh, they refused to prosecute him, despite the fact he was up for 16 felony counts by the Chicago Police Department. Um, and the mayor of Chicago has already said that it is a uh, disjustice to the city of Chicago to do this. And there's also currently. Um, it, I don't know if it has actually gone through yet or if it is happening, but it has been rumored that the uh, district attorney's office for the state for the uh, county that is uh, that dismissed the charges is going to be investigated uh, by internal affairs for uh, possible corruption. And it, no surprise that Jesse Smollett also uh, was known to have been meeting with uh, several people connected to Barack Obama. Um, now. While all that's been happening, basically the two brothers have kind of been left by the wayside, more or less. We haven't heard too much from them until recently. Now, uh, the two brothers who are Ola and Abel uh, Asundario, I, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, um, are suing the legal team uh, for Jesse Smollett for spreading defamatory statements about them after the uh, charges were dismissed or dropped, quote-unquote. Um, now, uh, here's the thing, is that these statements were made, for what we understand, without merit, and they were also made uh, to third parties in most cases. Some of them were to daytime television shows, and some of them were even to podcasts, uh, which is not good. So... Let, let, let's just go in, we're going to go down the statements, and we're, we're just going to examine this thing bit by bit. And uh, the first thing is, is that uh, basically the brothers have, all, have always contested that they did not, they were, they were roped into doing this. Uh, essentially, Jesse Smollett uh, claimed it was a social experiment that he wanted to try. In other words, it was something to advance his career. And he... Uh, he, paid, he paid them. There is evidence that they picked up the noose that was around his neck at a Home Depot, and they have uh, video evidence of this. Uh, but they claim that Jesse Smollett paid them and also claimed that he could c help advance their careers along with his own uh, with this quote-unquote social experiment. Uh, now, again, this is the people have also said that this is not... Uh, the prosecutors have also said that... Uh, this does not exonerate Jesse Smollett from what he did, and indeed, I think the federal courts will go after him a lot more than the Illinois state courts did. But uh, to go to the statements in question, uh, one of them is kind of the, the one that's infamous right now, which is the white face comment, uh, which was made on the Today Show. Um, and uh, it was the idea that uh, Jesse Smollett thought he was being assaulted by white people because the two brothers in and of themselves uh, were wearing white face or, you know, for, and for anybody that doesn't know what that is, it's essentially, you know, same thing as blackface, but just reverse it. Um, this is ridiculous and this is stupid and it has no bearing on anything. I, I, again, I was not in the courtroom when any of the, uh, Smollett case was being discussed, but the fact of the matter is, is that, uh, you, you can't just go spouting things about people, uh, after the fact, after a court case, uh, because 
number one, uh, you know, the, the stuff that you might be saying might be stuff that Doc came up in court, but again, they're, they're claiming that this is defamatory, um, which basically means that, that it, it is completely untrue and it has had a negative impact on their lives in some way, shape, or form, whether that is emotional uh, or financial or social. Um, so... They're claiming that the, the, the white face comment is ridiculous because, look, I'm, I'm sorry, those two guys, they're from, they, they were born in Chicago, but they have much, many, many family members in Nigeria, and they are Wesley Snipes Black. You would need pure white latex paint to make them look white, and you would have to apply it in multiple coats. So I don't believe that these guys were in whiteface. I don't think that's true. Uh, I don't think anybody thinks that's true at this point, uh, you know. But, you know, going on to the second one, which is really the one that I think picks up the meat of this, is that they claimed that one of the brothers, uh, Ola, may have been uh, involved with Jesse Smollett on a, in a sexual way. Now, uh, the problem with this is that the Nigerian brothers are both claiming, or, you know, I should say, I should stop saying, I know their last name. The Osindario brothers are claiming that basically uh, in Nigeria, uh, homosexuality is a crime. It is illegal. It is punishable by 14 years in prison, and it is also punishable by uh, if the person in question is married to a woman and engaging in homosexual acts, it is punishable by stoning to death. Um, and they've claimed on multiple occasions that they go back and forth to Nigeria frequently to visit their families, or their family, I should say, because they're brothers. But this is uh, th this is hard for them now because they could possibly uh, have a situation where if this is believed by the Nigerian government, they might not be allowed in the country again unless they face trial and conviction. Um, and again, I don't know if either one of them are married offhand, but, you know, obviously you don't want to be stoned to death if you walk into a country. And this could also mean problems for their family as well if they're examined more closely. And we all know that there are horrible things that go on in certain countries in Africa, Nigeria being one of them. And, uh, you know, to put, uh, to, to inadvertently just, just because you're uh, essentially trying to I wouldn't even say fight for a client at that point because they had been the charges have been dropped. Uh, essentially, trying to uh, justify your uh, client's idiotic choices uh, by saying that by saying that there was evidence that one of these brothers, uh, the motivation one of these brothers uh, was having a sexual relationship with him, um, when it was untrue, uh, is is very very bad considering the repercussions for that person's family. Now, uh, moving on to the next one, which is, again, th this is more uh, of a career-related thing because they are personal trainers. Uh, they're claiming that they were involved in some kind of illegal steroids trade. Now, again, these two are personal trainers. This is more of a reputation type of thing uh, where something like that could very easily affect their business and their income and their way of life. Um, and, again, it, th there's no information as of right now to show that this was true. To show that any of this was true, uh, there's no information to show that they were wearing white face. In fact, I believe if you look at the camera footage, I don't think they have them on the camera footage unless they somehow you know splashed themselves with paint in those two or three in those two or three minutes that Jesse Smollett was off camera. Um, then uh, they weren't wearing white face, and then you have the uh, the homosexuality uh, accusations, which are unfounded and just plain wrong in my opinion for, for these two gentlemen and it, look it, here's the other thing is I, I again I the, there's nothing that they stand to gain from insinuating this there's absolutely nothing they stand to gain except for trying to bury these guys uh, and look your client has already been buried your client is essentially his career is in the toilet his career will never recover from this um, the people of Chicago hate him the people of America hate him for the most part, except for a few loons. I mean, you have Charles Barkley making jokes about him on national television. You have Chris Rock going up at the NAACP Awards and bashing the living hell out of him. Um, this man is a joke. This man is a walking joke. And to drag these other two people down with him um, at this point, I think, is irresponsible and it's wrong because you don't need to do it. 
you, you, you're literally just causing collateral damage for the sake of causing collateral damage for whatever reason, whether or not you want to keep your, your name in the headlines or what as, as a famous lawyer. Uh, honestly, who gives a shit? Um, you're going to be somebody that fades into obscurity in another couple of months anyway, so maybe you bought yourself an extra week. Uh, or, you know, in the, on the bright side of things, maybe you have to pay these two gentlemen reparations uh, because you have screwed over their lives to some extent. Uh, but, you know, go, going on from that, you know, this doesn't look very good for them because they made these statements on third-party uh, programs. It's, it's recorded. They have it. You know, it was broadcast either over the internet or nationally. Um, you know, I think the uh, the uh, gay accusation or the uh, steroid accusation was over a podcast. I forget what the gay accusation was from, but the other and then the other one was from the uh, Today Show uh, and Good Morning America. So you have these statements on camera. There's no way they can refute them. This isn't hearsay. You have it. So there's a problem there, and they're not going. To, this problem is not going to go away for these prosecute for these lawyers. It, it it will not go away because it's out there now. So this uh, you know this this whole thing is just it just keeps dragging on and on and on and on with the media, um, and it seems like this is just the next stage of it. That uh, you know until we hear anything with the federal case against Smollett. So you know it's. It's sad that it has to come to this, but at, at this point, you know, people have said some dumb things, and when you say dumb shit, sometimes it comes back to bite you in the ass, uh, and that's what looks like is probably going to happen to these people unless they can produce some evidence to uh, back these claims, uh, which seems very uh, unlikely, uh, even though they have claimed that uh, they will expose uh, the uh, Oladipo brothers in court. Uh, so with that, uh, you know, we're, we're done with this round on the news circuit. Uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, leave a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications, subscribe, and remember, make entertainment great again. We will see you later.